You guys have been asking for it. And I'm going to go ahead and oblige. Is mining on your GPU in 2020 worth it? What's up, sons? It's Blind Run once again with Son of a Tech. And I know you guys always want me to make mining content. Well, I've been kind of out of the game for various reasons. Obviously, because we shut down our mining pools. We haven't been making any mining content. And uh, yeah, it hasn't been there. You guys have been asking for it. I've been disinterested for multiple reasons. Mainly because I feel like I make the same video over and over and over again. And that's just not the kind of person I am. I'm not really into making the same kind of content over and over again. I get a little bored with it. I like to move on. I like to try different things. And I understand that it impacts my channel and we lose some subscribers, etc. And that's okay. But for the guys that are sticking around that want to hear my thoughts on mining in 2020 on a graphics card, well, let's dive into it. So over here, you'll notice that we are mining. What are we mining on? Why are we mining? Well, we're mining on my gaming PC. Why are we mining? Because mining Ethereum with a graphics card right now is extremely profitable. If you're not doing it, I would highly recommend going ahead and doing some research. Maybe on this channel, we'll go ahead and do a new updated 2020 guide for mining Ethereum um, and doing it on your gaming PC uh, while you're not using it. So while you're not gaming, I would highly recommend going ahead and mining. So. Here's the deal. At this time, ETH is worth enough and the mining is going incredibly well uh, to where you are able to make money on almost any power consumption uh, and almost any graphics card. So whether you're rocking like an old 1060 or you're all the way up to the elite of the miners with a 5700 XT in your system, then you probably should be mining on it. I currently am using the 5700 XT, which is pretty much hands down one of the best mining cards out for Ethereum right now. Uh, all the way down to the 5600, anything on the latest AMD line, I'll leave some Amazon links down in the description below if you're looking for some. And as you can see here, we are mining at 49 mega hash a second. Our GPU is at 67C. And if we take a look at MSI Afterburner, boom, right here. All we've done is taken the power limiter and cranked it down. That's pretty much all we've done, right? Um, we're not doing anything additional. The system power usage right now is at 265 watts according to the kilowatt. And so we're at 265 watts and 49 uh, mega hash a second. So if we went into um, basically, let's just go into what to mine, right? If we head on over to what to mine, um, what we're going to see is let's say we do 50 mega hash. We'll round it up. Actually, let's round it down. I was getting 50 mega hash, but let's round down to 49. Let's just be fair. You see here, uh, both Ethereum Classic and Ethereum are showing profits. Now the profit per day it's showing on Ethereum right now is $2.49, but that's actually not completely accurate. Let me show you why. So if we go to ethermine.org and we grab our Ethereum address. So I'm just gonna edit my batch file to go ahead and grab that. If you are new to mining and you want me to follow this up with a how-to, guide on mining on windows i'd be happy to you can also check out bitsby trippin or boss coin there's some great content creators for crypto and where i get a lot of my information so you'll see here uh that we were mining last night for about 16 hours we're mining right now but not for as long um and we earned uh our estimated earnings was like 0.01 uh ethereum so if we go to ETH to USD, right? There's, it's right here. It's really easy now. Mining's gotten way easier. Um, at the current exchange rate, we made $4.35 in 16 hours. Less than a day of mining on a single card. So, um, <laughs> even what to mine's way underestimating this right now, in my opinion, by at least a dollar, maybe even two dollars. 
and if you aren't mining and your GPU is just sitting there, you should get on it. So I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, should you mine in 2020 on your gaming PC? My answer is yes. Um, I have plenty of content on here that goes over keeping yourself safe, network wise, wallet wise, etc. I'll do a quick how to guide if you guys are interested in that. Let me know in the comment section below, maybe coming up later this week. But at the end of the day, is mining in 2020 with a graphics card worth it on your gaming PC? Yes. You're talking about approximately $5 a day while you're not gaming and over a course of a month, you know, that can be potentially up to $150 and after power costs, it's going to be about $120. What does that buy you? That buys you an Ultimate Edition video game. Um, if you're not mining right now and you just have a system sitting there doing nothing, I think it'd be, you know, a shame if you weren't mining. And if you are interested in diving in and getting your feet wet, there's plenty of content on this channel you can go check out. Check out the links below for some of the graphics cards that I think you should be mining on. Um, and keep a really, really keen eye on graphics card prices here coming up shortly with the announcement of the RX 6000 series from AMD and what that does to the 5000 series. Because if the 5000 series goes down really, really cheap, it's gonna be hard not to go ahead and purchase one. I'm currently looking into doing a rig. Um, I just emailed ASRock to see if I can buy some extra cards from them because at this current exchange rate, we would be able to pay the cards off in two months, a two month ROI, two to three months, somewhere in there. That's an incredible ROI, that's crazy. Now, there's some things to note. I wouldn't recommend going out and buying a rig right now because we don't know when they're going to go to proof of stake for Ethereum. The only profitable coin, other than it looks like Ethereum Classic is taking off too now, and we'll have to take a look at that in a separate video, um, the only real mineable coin that's super profitable is Ethereum right now. We don't know when they're going to go to proof of stake. And for the uninitiated, proof of stake would mean that we wouldn't that we wouldn't be able to mine the coin anymore. So if I bought a rig right now and they went proof proof of stake before I met my ROI within the next three months, you know I end up with a whole bunch of graphics cards that I have to resell, and that's where we're at, and to get my money back. But if you can even make it four months on a single rig and pull in an extra $1,200 or something, uh, you know, there's an extra $1,200 you didn't have. So that's kind of where I'm at with the debate of actually building a mining rig. Um, but if you're just going to mine on your gaming PC, have some money to buy an ultimate edition of, I don't know, Spider-Man for the PlayStation 5 um, <laughs> or something along those lines. I see no reason why you shouldn't be doing it. So there's my thoughts on mining in 2020 and what I see. Uh, if you go check out Bitsby Trippin channel, the 5700 XT can be closer to 60 mega hash a second with some BIOS modding, etc. That's for if you're going to build a mining rig. Don't do any BIOS modding if you want to play games on the rig as well. That's why mine's lower than what his is. Let's be clear. I'm not going to BIOS mod this rig. This is my gaming rig. I turn off the miner and I go about my day uh, playing video games and having fun over on twitch.tv slash blindrun every day, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Central Time, where you can catch me and ask some crypto questions as well. I am basically a noob now at mining. At the same time, nothing's changed. Everything seems to be pretty basic, pretty straightforward. The same stuff that's been going on for, you know, over five years now. So... <sighs> Uh, luckily, it's easy for me to dive right back in and uh, don't use nice hash. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch you uh, on a live stream.